Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, this is the very first episode of Carts and Parts. Uh, today, I'm working on a non-Hemi 212 Predator engine. It had compression issue. And the guy that I got these race carts from, he had had them on it. He said he only had five hours on it. And, uh, you know, so I scored these carts. And I'm going to get them ready for the race season for next year. But with this engine, it's not going on the race card. I'm actually, because it's non-Hemi, I'm going to build a Hemi. I'm gathering up all the parts to build that. And uh, But back to this engine, the compression issue was the compression ring was stuck. It was compressed in and therefore it wasn't getting no compression. So I took it apart, took the governor and stuff out of it, and uh, got the piston ring freed up, rehoned the cylinder, and got everything together. So I'm getting good compression now. Uh, I'm gonna reset the valve lash, and I'm gonna teach you how to do that. All right, so when doing this, you wanna bring your piston up the top dead center and there's two ways you can do it you can either look down in there where the spark plug goes or you can stick a little screwdriver in there and you'll be able to see just just rock you know your crankshaft back and forth and you'll be able to see it when it's tdc so that's TDC, both rockers are loose, and they get set at three thousandths of an inch. Alright, so this one is the non-Hemi 212. And, uh, like I said, I took it apart because it had a compression issue. And, uh, got that taken care of so after I get these adjusted I need to get the fuel tank and stuff on and the carburetor and fire it up I did remove the governor and I installed an ARC billet rod that's 20 over with the 22 pound valve springs but wow this thing is super touchy Not liking it. <laughs> That's too loose. Try to get a click or two out of it, I'll be all right. You don't want it tight and you don't want it loose. You want a little drag on it. And from what I could see, these things are uh, very, very touchy. Uh, double check, make sure jam nuts tied on it. We're good. That was your exhaust. Uh, you can see a difference in the looseness. Time to do the intake. all the way down I'm gonna back it off eighth of a turn tighten my jam nut hopefully that's a be perfect because these damn things are really touchy all right snug I got some drag and it goes in much better all right so that's how you set the the valve lash on a hemi or a non-hemi predator 212 cc engine so if you like this video be sure to click the thumbs up be sure to like and subscribe 
and I will catch you on more videos. I got a lot of them coming.